motherfucking monster for this one. Yo, what's going on dudes? Um, City Monster Rank 6 as you guys can see, but today I'm going to be doing some class setups for you guys. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do some and I've just been putting it off, I don't know why. Um, I already made one a couple of months back, probably two or three months back and I actually did really well. It um, got a fair few views and as I've said many times, I don't really care about views. Um, that's not my priority, I just like making videos and as I said, I like reading the comments, but it's been requested so I read the comments, so I thought I'd make another one and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I'll get into it, but first off, I'll just show you my ladder quickly. Um, 15, I'm on 15,790 points, and the top of my ladder is on 20,830 points. Dude. Like, this guy's got half as many wins as me, man, and he's already on more points. Like, do you know how annoyed that makes me? But it just proves how many negative 150s I get, but it's all good. I'll get into my classes and just quickly, score streaks. Obviously, Score streaks are pretty obvious, man. Like, you just run Stealth Chopper, or you run Escort, or if you want to, you can run Swarm. Um, it's totally up to everybody, it's preferences, but these two are pretty important, obviously. They help you get, you know, doubles, triples, quads on hardpoint hills. They help you save flags in, hard, in CTF, and they help you, you know, make flag pulls. So, S and D, obviously, they're pretty handy, but you don't get them that much in S and D, against good players, anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, let's show you the classes. Um, I'll just say quickly, my attachments are the same for every, guns. I'm pr every gun, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there are any difference. Um, people tend to use FMJ instead of Quickdraw, or some people in SND use MMS, um, the geeks, but yeah, this is this is gonna be my setups. They're not gonna change. The BT3R never has attachments. <laughs> you don't need attachments, but yeah, I'll get into them. So I got the MA with red dot stock and quick draw. Um, as I said, you can use FMJ. I used to use FMJ, but I feel like you can snap people better, you can win more in close gunfights if you use quick draw. And yeah, FMJ is kind of good for, say, on raid first hill, for example. You can wall bang the laundry as they're pushing into it, which helps. But sometimes I feel like I, I just scope in way too slow with that quick draw, so I just use quick draw. But that's just my preference. You guys can do different if you want. But yeah, BT3 on no attachments, obviously. A frag. Now people ask me why do I use so many frags? I've used like three thousand frags, man. Frags are so good, dude. If you know, like, have half an idea where you need to lob them. You can lob them through windows, blow up cars, get doubles, triples on hills, and it's really, really handy. Um, my favorite one is on Slums Hardpoint on the Garage Hill, so the last rotation, and you can lob it through like from outside Grave, and you can lob it into the left window, and you can blow up that car. And man, I got a triple the other day doing that. I was so stoked, but <laughs> it's um, it's real handy to have a frag, just like even on back raid on the Hardpoint on Garage or in the with the Lambos and the Blue Van, you can blow them up, you can get kills easy, it helps your team out, like, if you guys are spawning ringside, and they're all pushed on Lambos, you can blow up Lambos, you can get, you know, pick them off hill, so you guys can get hill sign, but, that's why I use frags, I won't explain that anymore, but I just thought I'd put that out there. Um, flak Jacket, Toughness, Dexterity, Flak Jacket, man, Flak Jacket is necessary, um, on your ARs, in my opinion. Um, sometimes in the AN, I'll use Lightweight, because that's more of a run and gun kind of gun, but this gun, you gotta be either anchoring, or you gotta be sitting back on head glitches with this, like, you're not going to beat MSMCs and Scorpions in close with this, unless you've got, like, a one ping, which apparently I have, even though I have a 21, but, <laughs> um, yeah, you're usually going to be sitting around on head glitches and stuff, so people are going to try and hit you with nades, and sometimes with a hellstorm, so it's really handy to have flat jacket, but, yeah, toughness, pretty self-explanatory, if you don't use toughness, you really, like, um, yeah, just, just use it, man. It's honest, it's <laughs> it's the best perk in the game. And dexterity. Now, just a quick thing, something I really like to note. I'm not going to explain every setup in depth this much. It's just this first setup because it's all the things that matter. But dexterity and quick draw, they, they win you gunfights. They make or break. Um, in my opinion, you have to have one or the other. Like, if I don't have one or the other, I feel like I'm going to lose gunfights. I feel like I'm way too slow. But if you read dexterity, aim faster after sprinting. So, obviously, everyone sprints because you've got to get to the hills in time, you've got to run flags, you've got to make rushes in S&D, but you've got to use dexterity or quick draw, you've got to use one or the other, it just, it, I'm telling you, it helps you so much, but yeah, I tend to use both on a lot of classes, because I feel like it's going to help me win gunfights, and that's the aim of the game, you just got to win gunfights so you can play the objective and win the game, but yeah. So anyway, let's get on to AN, I'm not going to explain all the classes that in depth, but hopefully all that information makes sense and if you got any questions just let me know in the comments but yeah so and same thing red dot stock quick draw 
pretty self-explanatory. Um, people tend to use FMJ on this as well, and in my opinion, FMJ is better on this than the M8. I feel like the AN, I don't know, it, it almost kills faster with FMJ, but as I said, I'm more of a quick draw fan, and I use that, but BT3, half Black Jacket, Toughness, Dexterity, and a Frag. Now, MSMC, Quick Draw, Long Barrel, they're pretty standard, man. Like, if you're trying to use different stuff to that, um, don't go too crazy, like... I would definitely use one or the other um, if you want to use something different, but they're definitely the best two attachments to MSMC. And I've got the BT3R, I've got the stun. Now, this is for hardpoint or for going for first blood. You want to use that stun on where you think they're going to be. So, if you're stunning a hardpoint, you're going to obviously hit it where you reckon they're going to be sitting. Or in SD, if they're rushing L wall, for example, in standoff, you're going to hit your stun there so you can get an easy kill. But Dexterity, extreme conditioning, toughness, and lightweight. Um, that's just obviously a rushing class. This is more my slaying out class. Um, the scorpion I tend to use more for OBJ in hardpoint. I don't really use scorpion that much, but I'm not gonna lie. I usually don't play OBJ, but um, when I do, I tend to use a scorpion. And with this class, I go with fast mag and long rail. So on the hill, you want to be able to reload fast. And this gun, because it's got such a fast fire rate, you're always having to reload. So fast mag is the way to go. You can use extended clip, but I feel like. Fast mag's definitely better. Um, ages ago, I used to use extended mag, and yeah, I've definitely changed my mind on that. But same setup as the Scorpion, and got the double EMP. Um, that's for AGRs. It's just, it's really annoying as well. Like, if you use these on people in CTF, and you're constantly EMPing them, and you don't cop a rage, me rage message or just them just spitting words at you at the end of the game you'll be very like, I'll be very surprised Th these things are so annoying man and I used to make hardwired classes but I've sort of gotten used to getting EMP'd all the time so I just yeah I don't really care anymore but yeah um, this is sort of my muck around class um, sometimes I chuck the sometimes chuck the Remy's in on here just for on Yemen hardpoint on the Churchill or raid in the bottom basketball court or standoff on grannies it's kind of good because it yeah, you can just lock it down because they're small in close buildings you don't even really need toughness with this, you can just chuck like, you can chuck a trophy on, that's what I used to do, I used to just chuck one trophy on and then if they try and stun you, you know, they can't get you, and yeah, that's that's the way to go if you ask me. But that's it for hardpoint, I'll, I'll show you guys my CTF, and these are pretty similar to my to my hardpoint, so it's pretty repetitive, but I'll just go through them real quick, but same setup, beside these attack masks, because you get stunned a lot in CTF, people use double stuns in CTF, because You've got to stun flag carriers, that's how you win the game. You don't want them to get every cap, and if you don't stun, usually they're going to get a lot of caps because they're not getting slowed down, they're just constantly running, and their teammates are getting their cut off. So, yeah, definitely, I would use Tac Mask and CTF, but AN's the same lightweight toughness, Tac Mask, and dexterity. Um, same setup, same as um, Hardpoint, exact same actually, and with. The Scorpion, I use Quick Draw in this because in CCF it's a little bit slower and obviously you don't have to sit on the hill so you don't have to reload as fast, but because I'm not using Dexterity on this class, that's why I got Quick Draw, but usually, usually I'd probably rather run Fast Mag, but I've just changed over to Attack Mask recently because I was getting over running flags and being like one, like a ruler away from capping the flag and then you just get stunned and you just become paralyzed and you can't move. It's so annoying, man. You don't get the cap and you lose the game and it's so depressing, but <laughs> yeah, I definitely run Attack Mask if you're running flags. Um, this last class kind of like just mucking around, like KSG. This is for just when people talk shit, I usually use this and they get real mad. Because I got a decent shot with the KSG and dude, it's hilarious listening to people like, how did they kill me with a shotty from that far away? Like dude, it's crazy. I love it. But anyway, I'll show you my SND. Um, SND is a little bit different, but because it's a different, completely different game mode. Um, Obviously you get one death and yeah, it's very different. You're playing for your life, but I got... Obviously the MA, same attachments, B23R, and Flak Jacket, Toughness, Dead Silence. I got, don't have Dexterity. Um, sometimes I'll get rid of the frag in the B23R and just chuck on Cold Blooded if I'm having a day where I get MMS'd every two seconds, man. That does my head in. I can't do it. Like, these... Oh, what the hell? These people that use MMS, like... You guys might use it. It's it's not banned. It's um it's allowed, but it's just I just feel like being seen through a wall is really unfair. So, yeah, I tend to, tend to change it up and use that, but... And same thing, I just run cold blooded. I don't do it anymore. I don't get MMS. That's just it's not what I'm down to do. I'm not getting seen through walls, but MSMC. So this is a little bit different. Um, same gun setup, but lightweight toughness, cold blooded, dead silence, and dexterity. Um, this is kind of my rush class. I like using this on a 
attacking side on raid S and D, so you can push up to laundry and then jump up. And people don't expect it. Like if you rush there with your knife out, like get there really fast. People are like already they're just sniping or they're like aiming on pillars or something. Like they're not expecting it. So dexterity is really handy, and then people don't expect it. People expect most rushes to use dead silence and extreme conditioning. So if you're jumping up buildings real fast with dexterity, people usually don't expect it and can't hear you in time. So yeah. Scorpion, this is my, um, I use this on Express S&D, so you can stun over the top, um, that's mainly what I use it for, I don't really use it on much else, um, I'm not really a big Scorpion fan, it's really OP, and yeah, it's kind of dirty to use it, but it's obviously a gun you're allowed to use, so if people want to use it, they can, but yeah, not for me. And this is my class, man, this is what I use 90% of the time in S&D, um, MSMC with the DSR. I used to use FMJ on this and sometimes I get these dirty hit markers through walls and it pisses me off but I don't use it anymore because I figure lightweight's better to just get around the map quicker but toughness, cold blooded and dead silence. Um, snipers are honestly the shit man, like S&D sniping is like my funnest thing, like I'm not a massive S&D fan as people know and when I get a sniper in S&D that's my favourite thing but if I'm getting destroyed with a sniper I usually just switch it up you know but yeah, snipers are the go, man. But anyway, dudes, if you guys did enjoy this class setup video, be sure to leave a like. It means a lot, boys. Anyway, have a great day. Peace out. This for the kids who believe they can never do it. This for the ones too scared to try. This is the moment you step up and own it. Holding your head right to the sky. This is my story, my blood and my tears. My sweat and devotion, my dreams and my fears. I know I can make it, I feel it is near. This is the year, this is my year. Through heartbreaks and breakthroughs. Mistakes through high school and the hardest times. I stay cool even if I felt miserable. So I'm giving it all, I got nothing to lose.